Well, there haven't been necessarily that many events due to lockdowns, but we have managed to put quite a bit on, which we'll have a quick whistle through now. So in December, November, December of 2020, there was an idea in the South to put on the Southern England GPS Orienteering League as a replacement for the Southern England Orienteering Urban League. So using MapRun or Uslingo or any other of the GPS punching events. And QO did put in an event for that. It was by far and away the best attended and we were quite impressive in our turn. So much so that we've put on another one. So for the 21 series, we had the first one that was out there. And again, really good turnout. We're looking to see what other clubs put on events for this, see if it does continue as a league. I know there is talk Devon might be putting one on, so we might have another in our area. We had a repeat of the Quantox Challenge. Again, something came up with for the uh, between the first lockdown, so last summer, and that was so popular, so we put on another one. It's at the moment it's a free event, it's a long O score course, so either five hours or three hours, depending on which course you go for. Um, due to the time of year of the undergrowth, nearly all the control sites are very close to the paths or in big open grass areas. So we're not having to trample through bracken and everything, get all the ticks and problems like that. Um, because it's open for almost a month, you can pick your day. Some people ran in torrential rain, some ran in horrifically bright sunshine, but from what I've heard, everyone had a good time. One series we did manage to put on in its entirety was the street series. Normally an urban after dark event, we did have three of them postponed due to the spring lockdown of 2021, uh, but it did get into there. And obviously we are looking forward to the 21-22 series coming up. We did put on the Ham Hill special, so I could celebrate return to slightly more normal orienteering. We did want to use that as an experiment. We were experimenting with QR code punching. There, we learned a lot from it. There were some issues. Um, hopefully now we'll be able to use that occasionally if we need to. It's not something we're aiming to go to, but it's there as a backup. It's also quite useful on permanent courses because you can have the QR codes on the wooden posts. And we were able to hold the club championships, which was a very lovely day out at Winterdown. 